And in the process, Lord, we ask that you would somehow reveal who you are through us. That all who are wanting to see you, who are curious about you, maybe even those who've yet to wonder, would start to see something of you in us. Bless us to be a piece of how you are revealed in this world. Bless us to show others you. We thank you, Lord, for those who give of themselves to make that possible. For those who respond to your graciousness in their lives by sharing it with others. Even something as, as simple as giving a coat or a blanket begins the process of introducing you to those who may not know you, who may know you well and want a reminder of what you're like. Bless those coats and blankets and those who will receive them. Bless those who gave them as well. Lord, there are places in our neighborhoods, in our town, throughout our nation and world where bitterness and anger and bad decisions have led to great grief. We pray today for the people of Sanford, Florida. We pray for the Martin and Zimmerman families. That in their grief and fear and anger, you would somehow move among them. You would somehow begin to bring peace that the world cannot understand. We pray for any, anywhere who've been involved in such a needless act. Any, anywhere who would want to be part of such a thing. Restore love for one another, we pray. We pray it as those who've been blessed with many signs of your glory. We only have to walk out of these doors to see the beauty of spring. Reminders that out of death comes life. That that which once looked barren is now blooming brightly. Bring life out of death, Lord, and let us be part of it. We ask in your Son's holy name, praying as he taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of